Vitam, hello and welcome back to my channel everybody. If you guys are new here, my name is Nush and I make reactions here on YouTube and happy new year everyone. It is officially 2024, which means Eurovision 2024 is getting closer and closer. We only have what, five months until the contest, which isn't very long and things are going to be definitely picking up speed when it comes to countries, national selections, the countries picking who they're going to send to Eurovision 2024. Now this year's Eurovision is going to be set in the city of Malmo, Sweden and that is following Lorene's win from last year. Now we have had no news from Poland I don't think. Yeah Poland's not even announced a national selection or anything this year. Of course last year Poland sent the very iconic Blanca with the song Sola Sola down and down 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 yeah the controversy was real with this one but you know what in the end i think quite a lot of us enjoyed that song and the whole performance it was way better than what we thought it was going to be anyway i don't know if a poland is going to have another to be a serce europe which was what their national selection was last year but i have heard there is this potential song that everyone keeps raving about and saying that I'm gonna really like it. The representative everyone is talking about here is Justina Stezkowska. Stez... Stezkowska. <laughs> and the song is called Witcher Taro Horo. There is a lyric video here, but there's also this live performance. I think a day ago on New Year's, she performed it. There is a lot of craze over this song. So why don't we find out to see if this is a potential to go forward for Poland for Eurovision 2024. But before we do so, please do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel over here. That is very important. Clicking that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you want to follow me over on Instagram or TikTok, it is Nush101. Okay, come on, clicking play. Ooh, that voice. I think there's fireworks going off in the background. I don't know if this is gonna be the best video to react to, but let's keep going. Clearly it was New Year's, I think. That's what, what that sounds for. If it is that bad, we can always look at the lyric video after this. I mean, it's captivating. I got goosebumps. This outfit. Stage, where is this? <laughs> this is super, super captivating. I am not getting bored of it. Obviously, the, as this is a live performance, the sound isn't as encapsulated like, as I think the lyric video will be. So I, I will look at it after this. But yeah, she has the look. She has a good voice, it seems. She can perform live. And this is very unique. So a very good start. Let us keep going. I mean, we're already halfway through. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> has <laughs> has it got a catchy enough element to it? I don't know. I mean, I'm singing ish. I mean, that's a lot of dancing and singing at the same time going on. Oh, are we gonna have a dance break? Very wild dances vibes. Bit of go go in there. Oh my gosh, she is good though, isn't she? Ooh. Haunting voice bewitching <laughs> which is the vibe okay now 
this is a very, very good start. Definitely see this going to Eurovision from the get-go. Now let's quickly look at the lyric video, just because I, I feel like we're gonna get a, I feel like we're gonna get a better vibe with the actual audio here. Obviously we've seen her perform, we know she can do it, but I, would, I just wanna hear the music a little bit more. Okay, that bit, that beginning bit, does that not kind of remind you of um, um, Netta's Look at me, I'm a beautiful creature. That bit kind of reminds me of that. It's not the same song, I'm not saying that, but you know what I mean? Probably not. I love that yaga that's great. Yaga That's the catchy element that I think people would really buy into. It's got that, you know, traditionally bit that we like. Okay, well I am fully singing along now. There's something definitely special about this. This is like the wrong song to be sitting down to. The combo with the English and the Polish is good. It allows like everyone to sing along too. Yeah. Oh, the flute. Oh, I like that. Instrumentally, musically, this is the. Yeah, yeah, that was even better the second time and that wasn't even with the performance. This, this could be it. I'm not saying this is a winning song as well. We've only got a couple songs out, so we have a long way to go to see the full potential of Eurovision 2024. But if this was picked, I 100% see this qualifying. I 100% see this being in the top 10 from the get-go. It has got the melody, it has got a powerful, and capable performer. Justina really knows what she's doing. I can't believe I've not even heard of her until now. Although I just looked it up and she's 51 years old. There's no way I would have guessed that. She looks phenomenal. And the fact that she can dance like that, that is definitely goals. That's what you want to aim for, isn't it? She is a powerhouse. The song has got that Eurovision sound, but it's not like something we've heard of before. Yeah, it has elements, like I said, of songs in the Eurovision past, but it is refreshing enough to go forward, I think, as a song that can do very, very well in this contest. I'm excited. I really do hope that Poland does pick this because it's gonna be a bit anticlimactic if, it do if they don't. And also like the last few years of Poland haven't completely excited me with their entries. Yeah, I like Blanka's song beginning I didn't we, we, we got there but it wasn't winning potential in my eyes and I feel like this could have that I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens with Poland and hope for the best but of course guys that was just what I thought I want to know what you thought of Justina's song Witcher Taro Horo please let me know down in the comment section below and I'm gonna go but I will see you very very soon bye bye